Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we embed a VPCS page in Oracle Cloud ERP. Let us get into the steps involved in achieving this particular solution. So the first step is like uh, when you're designing the VPCS page, just consider the consider these below two settings. Okay. So the first setting is like uh, on your on your on your web app, on the settings area, in the security. Make sure that you select this particular one, allow embedding, allow embedding in any application domain, or you can select allow embedding in a specific domain if you want to have more security. But maybe initially you can just go with this particular second option. Other thing you have to do is when you embed the VPCS page, generally like a, before like a before embedding, if you when you run your VPCS page by default, it will have a header and footer. Okay, but when you embed your VPCS page in the cloud ERP, you, you no longer no longer you know like you require the header and footer which generally comes by default in the vbcs page so what you can do is you can just click on the root pages shell and remove the header and footer okay that is another setting you have to do it okay once these two settings are done you publish your vbcs page only the published vbcs page can be used in the sas okay now once your particular vbcs page is published get the vbcs url and the next functionality what you have to do is in the SAS. So in the SAS, we have to enable the page composer tool in the sandbox. And then what you can do is you can just create a new comp like a, once you enable the page composer tool in the sandbox in the SAS, what you can do is navigate to the application or the page, whichever wherever you want to embed the VBCS page and create a new component with a component type web page and provide the URL of VBCS and then validate if everything is okay, then publish it. Okay, so these are the steps involved. Now we'll see the live example. How do we configure this particular thing? So I'm in my SaaS application now. So the first thing is I have to enable the sandbox. I already have the VPCS uh, URL. Now I'll just go with the tools. Now, okay, configuration, yeah, configuration, sandbox. Now create a sandbox. embed vbcs sb sandbox one or sandbox okay now select the appropriate tool i'll select page composer tool create and enter so when you click on create and enter the sandbox tool will be enabled with the provided with the selected tool okay okay now it navigated to the main page again. So I want to embed. I want to embed this particular um, VBCS page in one of the billing page. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just navigate to the receivables billing. You can embed anywhere based on your requirement. So but I'm just selecting this receivables billing one. Okay, so click on the tool, select page composer. So I want to embed the VPCS page just above this particular table, which is nothing but like a uh, here in this particular area. So select the structure. Okay, now So just yeah okay so now i just selected the if you see the highlighted portion right just click on left sim left click and click on edit now once you click on edit what what you can do is just click on create a new component okay so now i now i'm in the selected portion i'll just click on plus symbol here it allows us to select a component to be created Now select the components, open. Click on web page, click on add. Once you click on add, automatically the component will be added. Yep, now here if you observe the component got added up, right? Now, but it doesn't show any web page because we have not added the setting yet. So here the web page component got added up. Click on the web page. And now click on edit. 
now we have to set the properties of the VBCS URL which we got from the past environment. So I'll select this particular one. Okay. Now mention the name. I'll just say VBCS page. Mention the source like this. Okay. Now click on apply. And okay. Okay. Now we are able to see the component, right? Like uh, this particular area, this particular page is designed in the VBCS. Page design in VBCS used in the SAS, some header information as well as text information is there. Now it is working fine. Then what you can do? So we are able to validate properly. Just click on close. Click on this sandbox close stuff. And now if, if you think everything is okay, then what you can do? Just click on sandbox and click on publish. Okay. Just click on publish. Yes. Okay. Click on publish. Now, when you click on publish, what happens is any user who logs into this particular instance can see this particular page. Okay. Now I'll just publish and let us see whether we were able to see it without getting into the sandbox or not. Right. Now it got published. I'll click on home. Receiving billing, receivables billing page. Right, we're able to see it perfectly without any issue. Okay, so you can do any many many of the settings like now here. If you observe the color is a little bit different, right? So there are any like uh, there are a number of things you can do it. As of now, this is the initial sample of embedding. Later on, we'll see how do we pass the parameter. Now let us say I logged into the SAS and I want to retrieve some extra information based on the logged in user. Those things also we can try to achieve it. Okay, thank you.